Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we are in Adobe Audition and I'm going to be showing you how you can edit a podcast very easily and it's very simple here in Adobe Audition. So from start to finish, from importing the files all the way to export. Now, you may have ways that you like to do things and I have ways that I like to do them. So hopefully this will help you get from point A to point B. Uh, in a matter of just hopefully 10 or 12 minutes. So here we are in Adobe Audition. I have the software pulled up. We're going to go ahead and import our files. I like to do this by just double clicking right here in the file browser, or you can right click import. It doesn't really matter to be honest. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and bring in our intro and outro files. So I have them saved here on one of my folders right here. So I'm going to go here, go to the intro and outro, and then I'm going to find those files and I'm just going to select them, the intro and the outro, and I'm going to import those into my Adobe Audition here. Next, I'm going to just drag over the uh, the recording with my guest. So I'm going to go over to one of my external hard drives and I am going to actually show you what that looks like. I use a Rodecaster Pro to record. So as you can see, here's my folder here. This works the same on a Mac as it does a Windows. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then I go to my Rode folder and then go to the podcast folder. And then as you can see, every interview is recorded here uh, this way. Now, I would recommend that you interview yourself and your guest on different channels. That way you can adjust the volume separately, but for simplicity's sake, let's just say you only have one main body audio file. If you have multiples, I will show you that as well. We're going to go ahead and just drag that file over into Adobe Audition. And then lastly, I have a an advertisement or an ad read that I want to put and I will drag that over as well. Now that we have all of our files here directly in Adobe Audition, I want to now uh, create a new multi-track file. I always do my podcast editing and multi-track. That way when you go back, you can adjust individual channels or individual uh, levels of different files. So in order to do that, go to file, new, and then go to multi-track session, and then just give that multi-track session a name. We're just going to call it podcast. Now, as you can see, there are multiple tracks here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. So we have our files over here, our effect track over here, and then everything will be Basically, all the magic will happen over here on our timeline. So we're going to go ahead and drag in our intro. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag in our show intro as it's labeled there. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and have our show intro there. And I have went ahead and muted the audio for my computer for the tutorial because I don't want it to interfere with what I have. I just want you to visually be able to see kind of what we're doing. So as you can see, this is going to happen right here. Here's my intro. And then down below here, I can actually see the levels if I want to make that bigger, you know, or smaller, whatever you want to do. Uh, and if you're wondering why your audition does not look like mine, you may need to go up to window and then workspace. And then I have just the default window here. You can change it to advanced or whichever one you want to do, right? I have different workspaces set up for different workflows. So we have our intro here. I found that it's a little bit loud. So if we play it back, I'm going to actually turn it off on my headphones so it doesn't blare my ears. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it back just like this here. As you can see, it's kind of peeking a little bit into the red. I don't like that. So what I may want to do is individually, I can make these bigger with my mouse scroll wheel here. I may want to go into this track and I may want to just click and hold right here on the volume knob. This is just adjusting this track. Okay. This is not adjusting the overall levels of the entire podcast, only the track, anything on this track. Now, if I move this down and I adjust this track here down or up, it doesn't matter. This here will not be affected. So just remember that only things on the track will be affected by the effects and everything you do here on that specific track. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce that down to say, I don't know, maybe minus two, one dBs. Again, you play around with yours, see what sounds best for you. If you wanted to, you could even do a fade in or fade out. But for my intro, the way that I've had it recorded, I don't do, need to do much fade in or fade out. I may do a little bit of a panning into out here on the tail end of the intro into the audio. And in order to do that you see these little things here, these little boxes. This is a fade in. This would be a fade out. Again, anytime you want to fade in an audio track, you would just do it this way, or you could even do it this way, depending on kind of how you want your audio to sound. And then at the end here, as you can see, if I play this back, it will automatically fade that out just like I want it to there. Okay. Next, what we will do is we will go ahead and put in our main body or the interview of the show, which I know is going to be this file here. So I'll click and hold whatever file I want to move to the multi-track editor. And then I will just place that 
whatever, tr you know, place it wherever I want as far as what track I want that to be. Now, as you can see here, I'll make these a little bigger. All of these are color coded. So whatever color you see here is going to be the color. Okay, if we right click that, go to track color, we can change that color to be whatever color we want it to be. So whatever color, whatever suits your eye best, you can make that color to be exactly what you want it to be. So we'll go ahead and fade into that there, and then we'll move into our, you know, our basically main body of the podcast. Now, the beauty of doing it in multi-track editor is basically there's three or four reasons why I like doing mine in multi-track editor. Now, I don't really know anyone who's done it in just the, the straight audio file. It'd be really hard to copy and paste. I've heard folks try to do it. I'd highly discourage it. One of the great things is that we can just double click on a file and that takes us into directly into the mixer for this direct file. So this is not our podcast episode anymore, but anything we do with this audio file right here will be take effect in our podcast. So if we find that there's a little background noise here, a little bit of background noise, what we can do is we can select one of the quiet areas here and then go up to our effects and uh, go down to where you see, see the noise reduction restoration, go to noise reduction process, and then this box will come presented to you here. Capture that and then select all of your audio, just like I would here by hitting command or control A, and then click apply and that will apply just a slight little noise reduction if you have a hum or a background noise on a specific file. Now, I, I did all of this to show you that when I hop back over to my session or my multi-track editor, all of those changes that I made in the single editor will now roll over to my mixer here in my multi-track editor. Now, the other beautiful thing about using a multi-track editor is when I go here, I'm like, oh, I messed up here. I'll put my playhead where I want it. I'll zoom in so you guys can see. So there's a little mess up here. I, I misspoke or didn't say what I wanted to say. I can select the track and hit T or whatever your command is for split. And then as you can see, this file has now been split. So I can just hit T. I can click and hold here and drag it to where I want it and then move it, boom, right back where I want it. Now that is easy, that is efficient, and now I'm right back to editing, I'm right back to listening to the show. Oh, I got another mess up there, okay. I click the track, I hit T or whatever my command is for split, I select that bit that I've messed up on, I hit the backspace or delete key, it's removed, and then I click and hold and drag that audio back exactly where I want it, okay. So now we have our body, we have everything cleaned up, we've removed the ums, the pauses, or whatever we've wanted to re you know, remove. We'll go ahead and add our show outro, which is going to be this right here. Uh, and I'll have that kind of fade into, just slightly into there, so it kind of fades in, and then it fades out just like I normally would uh, right there towards the end of that outro. Now, what I'll do to, to get a bird's eye view of everything, the entire show altogether, the whole timeline, is right here where you see this the, the zoom thing here, if we click that, it'll actually show us all of our tracks, it'll zoom out, give us a bird's, you know, bird's eye view of everything within this podcast. Now, I need to go back and add my advertisement somewhere, but I needed to see what the show runtime was gonna be, so I know now it's around 27, 28 minutes. We'll put this around 14 minutes. So what I'll do now is I'll zoom in by using my little zoom bar at the very top there, and I'll go to around the 14 minute mark, and I will zoom in again to my tracks, and I want to put my advertisement right around there. So what I'm gonna do now is click and hold here, and I'm gonna zoom in to that so I can kind of fine tune that, and I'm gonna use the T key to split once again, or whatever your hot key for split is, and then I'm I'm going to drag this to the right just a little bit and then I'm going to find my advertisement and I want it to come in right here. Now remember, when you're dragging these files over to a specific track, understand that whatever changes you made here for volume or effects or whatever you've done here will take effect. So you don't want something that you want to be quiet or loud to come in on a different track that you've, you've set up for a specific audio file. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my advertisement there, kind of get it lined up, boom, I want it to come in there and I know I want it to kind of pan out right here, so I'll use my pan feature again, and that way, boom, whenever I go here, ah, we're listening right back to where we want it, right? So now if I go back to my outro, I will drag this over to where I want it, again, towards the end of the show, just like that, and I will zoom out once again. So again, you have your multi-tracks, you drag the files in, you can adjust the volume over here on the left, and use your split key or your split hot key to easily and efficiently move files around and cut up an audio file that you know have mistakes or things that you want to fix, okay? Now, when we are ready to export, what we will do is we will go up to File, and then go to Export, and then go to Multi-Track Mixdown. And then you want to go to Entire Session, just like that there. Now, give the file a name. Normally, podcasts are exported in MP3 files as opposed to WAV because when you have to upload to an audio host, um, 
that's something that, that again, the file's just too big. But before we do any of this, I wanted to show you this to tell you this. You want to, you know, you know how video files, when you upload them to YouTube, they have like keywords and key data and things like that. Well, audio files can, can have metadata as well. So what we want to do is close out before we export, okay? And what we want to do now is we want to go to metadata. So we want to go to window, and then what we want to do is go to metadata, okay? My command or hotkey is command P, whatever yours is. You want to go to window and then metadata. As you can see over on the right here, I have some new things come available to me. The one that you want to focus on are ID3 tags. These are the tags that matter. Nothing else, I'm not saying nothing else matters, and there may be a, a use case for all of them, but for what you're doing, beginner, podcaster, you just want ID3 tags. This is like SEO. This is things that you want to kind of tag your file with. So go ahead and title it. Artist is you. Album is your podcast. Maybe even give it your podcast artwork. Recording date. Maybe some comments here. Genre. Go as, go as in-depth as you want. You've got your URL to your website. So put all of that data here in your metadata. And boom, when you export, that data will come with your podcast episode. So go down to File, Export, Multitrack Mixdown, Entire Session. Don't mess with this unless this format is in a different format than MP3. I would completely stick with an MP3. Uh, sample type, leave that the same as source. New sample type, I would go with 48,000 uh, Stereo 32. Again, that's up to you how you want to do it. As far as like exporting it and then putting in stereo and post, that's up to you, right? So once we're done, we'll go ahead and click OK. It'll go ahead and go through the progress bar here. And then right here in my finder folder, I see one that's podcast mixed down here. And then if I just go ahead and preview that, you can see now my podcast is playing and ready to upload to my audio host. If you have any other questions regarding podcasting or Adobe Audition, please put those in the comment section below. I'll get to those as soon as I possibly can. Always appreciate you guys listening and consuming to my content. Uh, if you need someone to edit your podcast, I have a podcast production company. I will put the link to that down below as well, and I will see you guys in the next video.